Hi guys, welcome to round two of a live try on haul. Sorry I was a little bit late. We're here now though, so let's get everyone back in the chat and I'll get changed here soon. I'm just wearing a little black on black leotard and what are these little like hot shorts? I don't know. <laughs> You rested well? Good, me too. You have to rest up for a Zelda stream. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I was picking some more outfits last minute and just trying to make my hair look nice. That's about it. Good to see you, Dave. I'm glad you made it to this one. <laughs> Hi, David. Yes, rusty patience is a virtue. So we will be trying on clothes because it's a live stream, so I need to be covered and I need to be somewhat proper. We'll do a few 90s. Definitely not trying on any thongs or anything. Hi Thomas. Yes, it is a try on haul. If you didn't make it to the first one, we're playing a little game as well, so I need all the chat to be actively participating. We're gonna do a poll for each two outfits, and I want you to let me know which one you like the best out of the two. So, we're gonna figure out what colors look best on me. I really like doing the colors. I think it's a fun way to look at the clothing instead of looking at like the style or the fit. I want you to look at the color mostly and let me know if you think I look better in one color or the other. All right. I'm gonna go behind the curtain and get dressed in the first outfit and you guys can just patiently wait for the reveal. I'll be back. You guys ready? I'm almost ready. 
first outfit. So remember, I want you to focus on color. So don't let your mind wander. <laughs> Okay, first outfit, we have green. A little bit darker of a green. A little dress, as you can tell. How do you think this green color looks on me? You like it, David? It is a cute dress. Okay, so you have to keep an image in your mind of me in the green before I go try on the next dress. You like it, G6? I think this is a green I can pull off. <laughs> She-Hulk? No, it's not green enough for a She-Hulk vibe. It's too muted. All right, last chance, get a good look, and then I'm gonna change to outfit number two. <laughs> All right. Yes, it is gonna be a tough stream to judge. Just do your best and remember it's all about the color, okay? Well, we're going based off of my current hair color. So just look at me and look at how I look. Okay, a little black dress this time with some stripes. think. Do you like me in black? A 
peel off the shoulder number. So we're going to run a poll after you get a good look. I see a lot of you saying you like the green. I think some of you might like this one, but you can let me know by voting in the poll. I want to see a high percentage of you participating. Thank you. I think they're pretty similar in the style, so that shouldn't dist distract too much from the boat. They're both like open, short, and tight. <laughs> What a good way to end the week, don't you guys think? <laughs> Storm, you're supposed to look at the color of the dress <laughs> on me. Do you notice any other aspects of me first? Or do you just notice the stripes and the dress the most? All right, time to run the poll while I get into the next outfit. We're just doing the two versus each other, and then we'll do another two. <laughs> yeah, we're only here to look at the dress. <laughs> For sure. Do you like the black with white stripes the most? Or do you like the muted dark green the most? Which one looks the best? Fun little way to do a try on haul but make it interactive with you guys. We had so much fun the first time they are begging me for around two. So here we are. Which one is it going to be? Oh, 
Okay, 31 votes, good job, good job. About a third of you. And it looks like green one. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, well, new outfit. You might recognize it. Do you come to the live streams often? It's a very warm, rich, but kind of dark orange. What do you guys think of me in orange? I don't wear this color too much. Your favorite outfit, Mikey? <laughs> Not surprised. Do you think this orange looks good on me? If you look, does it seem like it like casts a little bit of orange color onto my chin and my face? Like reflecting the color up. And if so, does it look flattering to have a little bit of orange light on my face? What do you guys think? Pretty much all chat's opinion. looks good the best color so far okay yes I'm not wearing any makeup so a lipstick would probably look good with the dress but I'm trying to show you just my natural state for the best unbiased vote so once you put a bunch of makeup on, it changes all your coloring a lot. So this is just natural skin, natural lips. <laughs> all right, you get a good enough look. This really sultry orange color. Change into outfit number two. Try to get a good image in your mind. All right. A lot of you like the orange.
make sure that you are live with me in the chat so you're not missing out on the poll. Okay, you guys ready? Lavender, light purple, much more cool toned than the other one. Taking some pictures on this. I think I have some on my Instagram, so you might recognize this little dress. What do you guys see when you look at the purple against me? Probably matches my frames. You think this is my color? <laughs> we'll see what the poll says. I need a lot of you to participate so we have the best statistical understanding. You have to have a good group size. Periwinkle, yeah. It is like a periwinkle. <laughs> so this one or the deep orange? Which one do you prefer? You guys ready to vote? Thank you, Charles, for the super chat. I appreciate you. <laughs> Always coming in with a super something because you're a super guy. <laughs> I know. If you haven't seen the picture on Instagram, it's like picture one, I'm like this. And then you swipe, and then I'm like this. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to change into our next option. <laughs> I know, I'm a tease. Okay, see you in a sec. I'm excited to see which one wins. We have such a cool tone and such a warm tone. It's a good compare and contrast.
Yeah. It does look darker on the Instagram because I wanted to boost the purple. So I put this like purple enhancing filter on it because I love making it purple. Wow, 83% purple. Kind of not surprised. <laughs> not surprised one bit. That purple looks so good on me, I agree. Okay, another green. A little bit different than the very first outfit. I think it has a little bit more blue in this green. What do you guys think of the green? <laughs> Bluish green. It's like a long tank top kind of dress. <laughs> See what you're saying. Interesting color. <laughs> Perfect length. Talking about the bunnies, of course. We gotta, we gotta keep our focus, guys. It's all about the color in this try on haul. Try not to get too distracted. <laughs> I would call this a warm green. You know, a warm green would have yellow in the undertone, and I think this has more blue in the undertone. Yes, dark green and more emerald. Both, both are very good descriptions of this one. Okay, last chance. Get a good look. Hundred and eight, fourteen viewers. Woo! Thanks, guys. All right, outfit change. This one's a wee bit shorter.
compare. It's a little bit shorter than the other. <laughs> what do you guys think of me in gray? Do you like it? Do you love it? <laughs> the little touch of black at the bottom. You think it suits me? <laughs> Do you guys think I should put my hair up or leave it down? Because I think the hair factors in as to whether or not the color matches with my coloring. Everything suits me, you think? <laughs> I don't know. Yesterday we found out that yellow doesn't really suit me. Not yesterday, but the last stream. Part one, I tried on this yellow crop top and it was very overpowering. All right. Do you remember the green? The emerald green? Now, do you like the green better or do you like the gray? You really like both. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. And they're very similar tops, so that won't sway you at all. Just color. Which one looks best on me? Which one flatters me the most? Give me a little close-up look. It's a nice medium gray tone. It's not too dark or too light. <laughs> I'm excited to see which one wins. I was so excited for the stream in general. You guys got me hyped from part one. It was so much fun. Okay, let's see which one wins.
how you guys know my dressing routine so well. <laughs> Buttons, buttons, trying to do them up. Okay. A little denim, dark blue. Open a little bit so it's not cutting off too much of my neck. You can see my skin tone coming through. Very rich denim color. There's a little bit of fading in the front, but overall, nice blue denim. And it goes well with my hair. Yes. David, I'm just not able to read the comments as much in the chat when I'm doing this try on stream. I'm busy modeling, looking at you guys. And I still look at the chat, so let me know your opinions. Does it look flattering? <laughs> Thank you, Dave. <laughs> Bumper approved. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> you know, I forgot. I want to try and put my whiteboard up here. If I can walk around it. I think I'm gonna go grab it because I already wrote in super big letters, super chat, but I just always forget to grab it.
lock our little kitty here. Got to write two people's names down. And then I'll let you guys have another look before I change. Yes, I've been clearing the whiteboard. Can you guys see it? Yeah, you can see it. Okay, make sure you're live with me. Click the live in the bottom left hand corner so that you can vote and be on time with everyone in the poll. Thank you, Rusty, for the super chat. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> You're at back to school. Why, did you go like clothes shopping with your sister or something? Or the whiteboard. Oh, the whiteboard. I think that's what it is. teacher. Happy Friday, Johnny. You like my skin tone? Thank you, David. want a mini earthquake to happen. It's so funny. I don't think a mini earthquake would even make this little thing fall over. You need a big earthquake. Another one with buttons.
light blue denim this time. What do you guys think? Man, the light, light wash denim. Wow, it's your favorite so far. Ooh. I like this one a lot too. Have I worn this one in an intro for a video and then I like take it off for my reveal? I feel like I have. I don't remember which video it was though. I love starting the videos off like that with something covering and then I take it off to reveal what the try on is actually showing. You've written a letter to Zelda's mother. <laughs> oh, I need to text my mom back. I found a really cute house yesterday. I need to let her know. Been house hunting. Purple is still the best, you think so? This is a cool tone color as well, but just blue. We're comparing this light blue with the dark blue. Which one do I look be better in? Dark blue, navy blue, denim blue, or light blue? This one is a lot more white in it. So it's gonna be a much softer kind of coloring with all that white mixed in. All right, I need the most participation in the chat that we've had thus far. I need lots of votes. Light blue, denim, or dark blue denim. You guys have to cast your opinion on the poll to let me know. I'm gonna get the next batch on my body. This is so fun. I love seeing what the group thinks. Hard choice, so hard. <laughs>
by clicking a button. So I can have the largest sample size to get the most accurate result. <laughs> oh, this one's tight on me. Getting it over my hips is a little difficult. This one is very different. So formal with all the beads. It's a really pretty pink, kind of magenta color. See how pretty all this beading is? Let's see what one. The light denim. The sixty two per cent. Wow. So I look better in a light wash then. I do like light wash jeans and medium wash. But yeah, I don't have too many dark wash. Great color, classy, and sexy. You think so? It's very rich. I'd almost say like this part is very jewel toned but then it's interesting how it has the lighter bit that goes all around the beads. So yeah, I guess it's not too saturated all over, you know? Has a bit of lighter pink as well. Yeah, that's because I guess, look, underneath it has this color as the slip over this mesh. So this is really like factoring into it, that pink color for the slip. Oh, pretty. <laughs> I thought so. That's why I got this dress. It looked so beautiful. I might need to get it altered because it's like it's a little too big in the back for me. But if I could get that fixed, it'd be perfect. It's 
storm, we're not doing any lingerie on the live. It's a little bit different of rules for live streams, so you can enjoy all of my posted videos that already show off all of that. But for this, we're playing dress up and pretty dresses. <laughs> Yeah, it's like this, the slip is sewn into the dress as the base. My skin contrasts very well. Does it contrast too much though is the question. Or is it a good compliment to me? One way to put it is Am I wearing the dress? Like, you see me wearing the dress? Or is the dress wearing me? And it's just stuck on, you know? Like, do you just notice the dress? And then you can then look up at my face? Or do you notice me first? You think it brings a bit of a glow. Yeah, that's a good way to tell is if it makes my skin look healthy because my skin isn't perfect. I'm not wearing any makeup, so if it looks healthy, that's a good sign that the color complements me. All right, the song is over. I think it's time to change. This one's so cute. More like classy, but cute too. <laughs> Rusty, I'm wearing this dress like it's my bitch. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Sunrise, why you think my last stream was hotter? I am trying on clothes, just different clothes. So I think that's all up to you and your opinion. I look pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> different day, different energy. But I'm pretty much the same exact appearance. Maybe you don't like these clothes as much, who knows. I think you missed the last stream actually because it was exactly the same setup as this one. And I was not doing the pose, I was trying on clothes. That rhymed. Last, two streams ago I was stretching and that's when I did, quote, the pose. So you missed a stream, bud. Apparently not my number one fan. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but here we are, next outfit. It's not nearly as fancy, but kind of similar in the silhouette. Red this time. Oh yeah. He's not messing up my mood. 
he was inaccurate anyways. That wasn't my last stream. My last stream was round one, live trial haul. See if I can do the tie a little bit off the shoulder. Yeah, but then the sleeves look a little bit weird. This one is just much more like a tie front, simple kind of style. What do you guys think? Magenta or red? <laughs> Why are you guys being rude in the chat calling me a grandma? This isn't even a grandma dress, but okay. If you read the chat rules, I put them in the description. It says, don't be a dick. Be nice. And if you're rude, I'll ban you, so don't be rude. Because that's the rules. That's how YouTube works, Sunrise. So you can appreciate all of this that I'm giving you so graciously or you can get out of the live stream. If you're not gonna be appreciative, I don't really vibe with that. All right, magenta or red, you guys pick. No, it's literally the rules, you guys. Go to YouTube Community Guidelines and go ahead and read through all of their rules that I have to abide by being a creator on the platform. And it makes it very clear that I can't wear lingerie because that's not something that you wear in public, right? So you can't walk out your front door in lingerie and go about your day. Therefore, I can't do it on YouTube Live. This, however, perfectly okay. It's a regular dress. People wear this all the time in public. So, I can do more provocative types of live streaming on other platforms, but you actually have to go subscribe to me there. All right, I'm gonna go drink. You guys got a boat. Do I look best in red or magenta? This one has the flowers. The other one has the beads. This one's definitely more warm tone since it's red and the other it's a little bit more cool. It's like a in between. It's H2O. All right, time to get a 
undressed. <laughs> yeah, compliments of the water boy. That's correct. Summer vibes, yeah, definitely. Next up, okay, so for this one, I want you guys to compare the skirt. I'm going to try on another skirt after with the same black top. Magenta one. Okay. That dress was really good, so I'm not surprised in the slightest. So a little black white striped skirt. Micro skirt. Thank you, Dave for the super chat. You know I love doing a chill stream for you guys. You're gonna relax and just enjoy. I'll write a little times two by your name. So remember, I'm gonna leave the top and change the skirt. It's hypnotizing. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it might do that effect where it like has a little bit of a visual what's it called it's almost like a glow like tricks the eye optical illusion that's what it's called <laughs> optical illusion with all the stripes on the screen it looks weird <laughs> so funny All right, you guys ready for skirt number two? I'm 
This one might be harder to just compare it by color, but just give it your best vote. Black suits me. <laughs> Thanks, Jake420. That should be quicker to change the skirt. You guys haven't seen this skirt before. Either skirt, I think. Just surprising, you've seen so much of my wardrobe. <laughs> stuff to try on for you guys this time. A little bit of stripes, white and orange. I'd say this is more in that fall color palette. the best since the purple. Do you like the little sporty combo? Leotard on top. A little short skirt on the bottom. Very athletic. But is it better than the black with the white stripes? That is the question. Yeah, it's definitely more cheerleader, for sure. I think the tag. Yeah, the tag says it's varsity spirit is who made the skirt. So I think that's pretty much cheerleader to a T. <laughs> varsity spirit. I know, I need a little cheerleader crop top. They have those interesting little like, it's like a thick material, but it's cropped. And it's like a big sports bra, right? Essentially. So cheerleader sporty skirt or the tight booty hugging Stripe skirt. Go team! <laughs> Go team. I don't know any cheers, actually, so... My friend taught me one once. She was a cheerleader. She does it much better than me, though. <laughs> Did I wear cheerleader clothes in school? No, I wasn't a cheerleader. <laughs> Definitely was not. I think you could wear something like this to school, especially now, like this kind of style is very in. A little tennis skirt, sporty skirt. Okay, let me know which one looked the best.
Zelda High School. <laughs> Welcome to Zelda High School. It's your first day back to school. Welcome to the class, boys. I'm your teacher, Miss Sykes, Mrs. I don't ever remember which one is which. Mrs. The perfect attendance? Oh my goodness. I don't know about that. It wouldn't be MRS, it would be just MS, I think. All right, now we're really gonna focus on the color. color going on <laughs> but this is the test to see what color looks the best on me and you guys are my test participants you're in science class today and we're doing a scientific study on what color suits me best Okay, class, so pay attention. How do I look? Hugh Hefner blue. <laughs> I don't know what that means, elementary, but it looks like the black stripe one by a smidge. It was very curve hugging. <laughs> it drowns out my face too bright. Yeah, this is a very bright saturated blue color. So, and there's a bunch of it all around my face. So I think you're like, Gonna be able to tell really easily if it looks good or no. I usually don't wear blues like this, but. Oh, then my leotard. Underneath. Okay. Time to compare. Contrast. Same kind of shiny material, but black. I was just wearing the leotard and the one with the skirts. This was my top, so I didn't take it off because I just put it on for the skirts. Okay. 
And you don't even see it anyways in these. Silly. <laughs> yep, got lots of black. Satin, sheen, black robe. Do I look better in the bright blue or in black? Does this one drown out my face like the blue? Or does it look better? It looks more timid and mysterious. Interesting, I wouldn't think to call black timid, but maybe on me. It looks like that. Storm coming in with his black, my favorite color. Finally, Zelda's turned into a goth girl. My dreams have come true. <laughs> much black so I started selling off all my black clothes on Depop for the other girlies they both look good on me yeah you got to choose your favorite which one looks the best not just good but the best The blue is more playful, but does it actually make me stand out or does it overpower me? Because even though it's playful, if it's like overwhelming and doesn't highlight my features, then I would vote a different way. Yes, the butterfly is supposed to be blue. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I think my phone just might have had a disconnect from the internet or something, I'm not sure. But it let me resume, so we're back. Apologies, everyone. I had to go back to the YouTube app and re-click everything to get back into the stream. You guys are patient. I'm teaching you well. That was what, like 13 minutes late to class? So, yeah, my phone might be just getting hot, which is why I always mention that I have a webcam that I wish I could use on my computer, but I haven't bought it yet. 
It's on my wish list, though. Change again. I thought I fixed it, but this angle of the camera is difficile. This is a continuation. So the VOD should save as one whole stream. I'm not putting on heels. I have to step over this very precarious fur blanket every single time and I don't want to fall and break my ankle. Thanks for the opinion though and the suggestion. You're full of them today. did buy me a gift today off my wish list. A fan, anonymous, I don't know who, they bought me some long black satin gloves that I had on there. I got so excited. I'm getting the gift. make for good accessory in my try-ons, the gloves. Like when I did the nurse cosplay and the maid, I had those gloves on. All right, we're doing some pants. This time, so last try on stream, which I did on Monday, someone was begging me for camo. Here you go. Here's the camo. <laughs> I got these pants to sell on my Depop. They do happen to fit me though. Paired it with this amazing tiny little long sleeve crop, crop top. I thought I lost this shirt once and I cried about it that night. I was looking everywhere for it and I couldn't find it but I finally found it. You think it looks so good? Really? Not much of a camo girl, I thought. <laughs> Maybe I am. Thank you, Charles, for the super chat. Oh, I need to do the times two. I'll do times two and some like extra. Yeah, they do fit rather nice. They're just slightly big on the waist. 
think that's why I was going to sell them. Yeah, it is about the color, but I'm glad you guys think they look great. Pretty much everything I picked up for today fits me. I don't like to keep clothes around that don't fit me. Doesn't really make sense. This top is so tiny. <laughs> It looks better than your expectations. Were you expecting me to try on the camera? Hi. Good morning. You wake up. You guys see my Chobi cat? She just woke up. Good morning. Blue one. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I agree with that vote, but hey, 39 votes. It's a good sample size. Maybe you guys are onto something. Maybe you're onto something. Yeah, she always loves to be a part of whatever I'm doing. Like when I film my videos, she likes to lay on the bed and watch. And then when I take my pictures, she's always right next to me usually. It's funny how many photos she kitty bombs. <laughs> kitty photo bomb, my favorite kind. Thanks, J.E. Lons. So we're gonna compare the pants. We're gonna do these camo, same top, and then we're gonna do different pants. So do I look good? Oh, I almost stepped on you. Not quite. <laughs> She's always right under my feet. Aren't ya? And she needs pets. And she wakes up. So, let's take a little uh, kitty pet break. I give her some scratches. You can't just walk underneath me. I'm trying to do a little show. Huh. Yeah. I'm walking right underneath. Say good morning to Chobi. Good morning, chat. I just woke up from a nap. It was a really nice nap. <laughs> All right, let's do the next pair. What do you think? Let's go. She wants to be out there.
onto some low rise blue denim. Got kind of a faded thigh with more richness on the back. Thank you, Rusty. You wanted times two as well? It only really makes sense. This is round two, try on, live. You love the low rise? It's especially low rise since this is such a high rise crop top. It's hitting right on my under bust. So you really get to see a lot of my torso. When's your birthday, David? What day in September? Times two, look at these guys. All got a times two. My best supporters, thank you. So let me scoot back as much as I can. Get a look at the blue on me. You can see it against my skin tone since I wore the crop top. So does the blue denim look best or the light? It's like a muted camo, it wasn't very saturated. I guess more like a desert camo, we would call it. Just delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I keep bending down to see what you guys are saying. Well, the thing is, is crop tops are perfectly acceptable attire when you're out in public. So this is fine. You can wear this to the store. I would probably get a lot of looks. I went to the grocery store in this. <laughs> I swear, sometimes I'm like checking out at the grocery store and if I wear low rise and I have to bend over into the cart to get my stuff, put on the conveyor belt, there's always some guy behind me, I swear. There's a guy behind me, this happened last time. I wore low rise and he was just like watching me. <laughs> Bend into the cart to put my stuff up. Uh, yeah, I was a little bit of a tease that day, I'll admit that. Like, I guess you couldn't see, it was more like this. Get in the cart, put it up. <laughs> it was funny too, cause I saw him when I was shopping and I was walking around and like saw him, passed him on an aisle. And then I get to the checkout first. And of course he decides that that checkout lane was the one he should go into. <laughs> I don't know. I don't mind the attention. I actually like it. <laughs> but it's just funny when that happens. All right, vote time. Camo or blue? Yeah, and that other pair, my back dimples were definitely out, you know? 
these little things. They were out. One of my best features. Our brain yells, look at her. <laughs> I bet it does. A lot of yelling in the male brain. I don't know how you guys do it and keep your focus. You like my smile? Aw, thank you. <laughs> I'm shy, I don't smile too often, with my teeth at least. I just don't like faking the smile. But when I genuinely want to smile and I'm laughing, I like that kind of smile. Which one did you guys like more? Denim with 52%. Maybe all my camel lovers aren't here tonight, but I agree. I look good in denim. Somebody in the chat tell David he should click the live button so he's in the present moment with us. I keep trying to remind you all, but someone could explain that to him. Okay, on to little Nivy. Nice and silky satin. I think. This is another one I was gonna sell. It is a little bit big on me. I love the color though. You know, I love purple. think so? Nice and shiny, very cool toned. Almost has like a silver feel since the metallic sheen kind of looks like that. We're not focusing on how tight of a fit, we're focusing on color. So I'm aware it's a little loose. But some of these things I picked up to put on my Depop and it's not for me and my personal collection. But for this, I wanted to really try on different colors. So. Trying on all different types of stuff. You'll never know what you're gonna be surprised with next. Sunrise surprise. 
Some people don't like surprises. It's too bad. Other people get a nice little rush whenever they see me step out from the curtain. Hopefully he reads the chat. Thank you guys for explaining it to him. Very nice of you. Okay, so does the color look good on me? Does it flatter my skin tone? Here, I'll pull it tight for you guys so you can see my body, see my shape. There it is, there's my curves. <laughs> like you've never seen them before. I've been a nun since I was 12 years old. <laughs> Showing a little knee today, guys. Careful. Might be too much. Yeah. Too much skin. Glimpse of my ankle and my knee could arouse you. <laughs> He's gonna watch it to the end as usual. Well, we tried. We tried, chat. All right. Time for a nice compare and contrast. So take a little picture. In your mind's eye, remember me in the purple. The stream leaks. Oh no, it's leaking. The stream leaks. The leak. The leak. Stream. This isn't a heel try on. I never said that it would be that. So enjoy the stream. Don't be a dick. Be nice. Those are the rules. I would literally fall on my face trying to hop over in this stand, guys. And then I wouldn't have the ability to film a video for you for Monday. So. I'm not putting on heels. Stop asking. Or I'm gonna ban you. Because it's annoying. Stop. Okay. Another 90. Cool tone, but blue. Do I put it on the inside out? No, I don't think so. It's the right, it's the right way.
then please listen to what I say and you can stop asking for the heels. I'm not putting them on. I'm going to fall if I try to step over in heels, okay? Be respectful, be nice. That's right, listen to your teacher and behave, or you're gonna go in timeout. But you might have already been in timeout in the chat. <laughs> You'll go in it again and permanently. It's called banned. A little bit longer. Lacey. Doesn't have quite the same shininess factor. I think it looks really beautiful. The fit is decent too. I don't know, I think I might sell it still. Unless you guys change my mind. I was thinking that'd be fun to do a stream where it's like vote for which one and the winner I keep and the loser I get rid of that piece of clothing. So you guys better vote well or else I'm getting rid of your favorite piece of clothing. <laughs> it makes me look perky. <laughs> I think it's that like, the shape of these little cups. They go into a little. Okay, so while you vote for this one, I need to go grab my external battery to charge up my iPad for chat. Okay, purple or blue? Which one? I'll be back. Don't die on the iPad. All right, we're safe. Crisis averted. <laughs> Makes me look perky. Yeah, I can see what you mean. I just caught a glimpse when I turned to the side. <laughs>
said it couldn't reconnect in this moment, but I think we got it. How long have we been here? You lose track of time. Me too. It's been like two hours. Okay. <laughs> this is such a long dress. I feel, feel a bit swallowed in it. <laughs> it's such a light pink color. Like almost, you could call it almost a neutral pink. So it's so light and delicate. It's about to fall off of me. <laughs> What one? Purple? Interesting. Purple for the win. Yeah, this dress is quite a beautiful color, but I need to like adjust it for my body. It's very large. What do you guys think? The soft pink. Try not to let it expose me. <laughs> I guess I'm small, because this is a size small on the tag, but it's like swallowing me. Maybe that's the look it's supposed to be, like, kind of open, oversized. All right, so for this one, we're doing this light pink color. And then I'm gonna put something over it. Okay. We're gonna do compare and contrast the two. Okay, quick change this time. Okay, <laughs> seriously I'm gonna freaking fall out of this dress. Okay, so I got the hot pink cardigan on the top. So we're comparing this hot pink color to what it looked like before with no cardigan. So yeah, does this pink, hot pink look good on me? And then I'll take it off. Or does just the pink, the soft pink look the best? Looks like everyone says just the soft pink. So we're not gonna run a poll. I think it's unanimous. You like just this very open cotton 
90. Do you guys think I should keep this for myself? Or should I sell it? If it looks that good on me, like you're claiming, maybe I should keep it. What do you think? Can you convince me to keep it? Does it look that good? Or should I sell it so someone else can enjoy this? Keep it. had to turn on a fan. <laughs> I don't think you're getting a heat wave in Alaska right now. Keep it, no one else can look better in it. Really? I mean, did you guys see how long it is? It's like to the ankle. It's a maxi length dress. So, no getting titillated by my ankles in this one. <laughs> Do you know what titillated means? Or is it time for Zelda to teach you some vocabulary? Well, if that's the best part of the charm, then any other girl could look really good in this. I could wear anything, according to you. Maybe a trash bag? Outfit? That could, uh, could rock it. Teach me, please. A potato sack? Are you calling this a potato sack? Or I could wear a potato sack. Those are brown, right? Like a coffee bag, coffee bean. The like brown coffee bean sacks. I'll just put one of those on. And I'll be like, okay guys, today's try on. We're doing <laughs> coffee sack. Burlap, yes. We're doing a burlap try on haul. <laughs> Can you imagine? How many views do you think it would get? I'll make the best thumbnail I can. You know, I'll show some, some figure. Maybe I'll just hold the burlap up like this. I'll just hold the burlap up and I'll be a little bit nudie. But, oh, the most potato sack try on, guys. A million. <laughs> A million views. <laughs> I'm gonna love today's haul. By the end of it, my skin is like red and itchy. Then I'd make a lotion video to soothe my burlap itched skin. And then you guys could find it on my other sites. All right, time to take this off. It's about to fall off anyways. Okay, I think I have just one more outfit ready. To compare and contrast. Well, one more set. I'm 
guys want me to keep the dress? I just might. A little bit of adjustment, I think. It would fit me really good. That pink color is so soft and perfect. Is the same song playing over and over? More crop tops. Oh, yes. Never enough crop tops. I have so many crop tops. Maybe more crop tops than regular t-shirts. I don't know though, I'd have to count. So I've got a little off the shoulder, gray, light gray this time. So it's not like the tank top with the medium, it's very light kind of gray. Put the low rise back on. Make them really low rise. Sleeves up. I usually don't pull these sleeves up. I like them on the forearm. Or do you mean like this? I don't like it like that. I like it open. Open neckline. So low-rise jeans, they did go out of style, but they have had a resurgence into the fashion scene recently. So there's quite the hot debate about whether low-rise or high-rise is better. I could do a little low-rise versus high-rise, maybe in a video. Not right now, but at some point. Which... What's up, black sheep? So we're on, I think, the last pair of outfits. We're gonna do a vote. Do I look better in this color, gray? Or do I look better in the next color? I'm gonna run a poll. You guys will let me know your opinion. It does show the tummy. Crop tops should show the tummy. What's the difference? So the difference between low rise and high rise is the rise. And what the rise is, is how far up from the crotch do the pants come up. So essentially it's like, do they come all the way up to the belly button? That would be high rise. A mid rise would be right underneath the belly button. And then low rise is right there we're at the hip bone. And if you want to measure the rise of your jeans, you just go from this seam here at the crotch to the top, and you measure. So like for these, let's measure. These have a rise of seven inches. So that is low rise. 
I think six inches would be like a super low rise. And for girls, it doesn't get much shorter than that because obviously it's not gonna be enough to cover. But yeah, it's really helpful to know what kind looks the best on you because then we go buy pants. You never run into the issue where it feels like they're too low and it's like cutting into your stomach. Or for some people, they don't like when it's really high. That feels more uncomfortable. I think for men's jeans, it's usually mid-rise, you know, but sometimes you could get a high-rise pair. I did sell a pair of low-rise, uh, six-inch low-rise. Yep. I took a photo in them to sell the jeans and my booty looked good in those jeans. I feel like that's why they sold. Here, I'm gonna show you. Turn up the brightness. This is a pair of super low rise. I believe they were like six inches for the rise. Here's the booty. Yeah, I sold those. Yes, I loved those photos. That's why I say I saved them. I didn't know if I should like post them to my Instagram or what, since they're just like a picture of my myself in the jeans. It's not really me in my face, but those photos were bomb. Okay, on to the next one. Can you please play a different song? Remember the gray? And now we have off-white. Yeah, I think this is off-white because this shirt here is white. And that's off-white. Right? So, it's essentially the exact same top, but different color. So it's a really good example for our scientific method. Which one do I like the best in? Do you think the off-white? Highlights my features, makes me glow, or did the gray make me glow? Wow. 
What do you guys think? High rise doesn't have to be above the belly button. It's more, it hits at the belly button on most people. That would be considered high rise. Like if it hits right below, right, right below, or on it, that's high rise. And then a mid rise would be more like where my mole is. Like right there. You are glowing. Off white to smidge better. That's for you guys to let me know. It's all about chat's opinion. Unless I get bossy and I say no. <laughs> but it's about your opinion on option A, option B. or gray. It was a light gray, so not a whole lot of difference in the, the brightness or the value. Okay. You'd go for gray, not as much standing out as the light one. is usually like 9 to 12 inches depends on the size of the jeans because it's a larger size you will have a little bit more fabric hard choice oh you just found my Instagram Lucas yeah I posted today I don't post too often on there I like to Keep my number one priority in my YouTube. But I like to go on there and post on my story sometimes. I want to share a little bit more of my daily activities on the story. I just get kind of shy sometimes. Bossy would be nice. <laughs> For light gray or off white? Are the live try ons going to come back in the future? I think we'll do some live try ons in our rotation of different stream ideas. Like, I like just hanging out and chatting with you guys, but. I find it's better for me and how it feels to do the stream if I have an activity planned. So these try-ons I kind of need to prep for, and I'm not going to be doing them every time. Sorry. That little texture is this stupid. I just noticed there was that like texture on my, I need to cut these off. These little hanging things, don't like them. Yeah, I just want to play around with what I do on the lives, try new stuff. Like this is essentially 
very similar to what I post in my videos. So it's fun, but I also want to try more things out, you know? Where did it go? Oh heavens. That's good enough for now. Got that little texture away. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with these live try-on hauls, especially since it's interactive with you guys and we're doing the polls. I find that has been really fun to engage everyone. Oh, thank you, Rusty. YouTube's a better place with tubers like me. <laughs> I'm happy I finally decided to be a tuber. But yeah, I think I came up with this idea with the whole silhouette behind the screen the other morning when I just had time to sit at my desk and I wasn't distracted by my phone. Like the internet was turned off for the morning and I was able to actually think of an original idea that worked out perfectly for you guys. So I feel like the more grounded I feel and nice and safe and secure, gives me room to flourish with all my ideas about what I wanna do for the videos and for the live streams. The off-white one, just barely. I missed the result of the poll. <laughs> They're very close in color, so makes sense they were close to, close poll. Yeah, it just feels good when I can think of an uh, original idea and actually execute it in real life and make it visible. That's some magic right there. And you guys are helping me make that magic happen by being here and participating, engaging with me. I appreciate all of that. Yeah, where did that 1% go? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. YouTube can't figure out basic maths. I think that was the last outfit, you guys. Yeah, I had one thing, but I didn't have, oh wait, oh, okay, I do have the perfect contrast for this one top that I want to get your opinion on, and then that will be the last, the last poll for the stream.
Time to change. Last one. Need all of you. Eyes and ears open. like the cardigan but looks like it's more pigmented so this is gonna give us a good test about I look good and hot pink You guys like it? If I put my hair up. Do a little low ponytail. Very girly, kind of innocent. I'll tell you a secret. I got it in the girls section. So it is a, it's a girly innocent top from the girls section. <laughs> but I thought it would look so cute on me. I know, I put my hair back and I feel like some people are like, whoa, Zelda with her hair back, whoa, you guys hardly see me with the hair pulled back. I don't tell you every time I get something from the girls section, but I'll admit, I wander in there often. <laughs> and I find the cutest stuff. Like, if you watched my video, my everyday panties try on, I tried on some panties that had cute little flowers on them that were from the girls' section. What are you guys saying? Hot farm girl, <laughs> farm girl vibe. Uh, <laughs> hey, if I'm, if I'm giving it, I'm rocking it, that farm girl vibe. I'll serve you farm girl look any day. I need to ride your tractor. Wow. <laughs> I really need to go for a tractor ride right about now. Do these little bows look cute? Yeah, love it. All right, you guys ready for top number two? Take a picture in your mind. Me, hot pink. Am I glowing? Or do you just notice the pink first? You don't even notice me. Okay. Time to change.
scrunchy top number two. Thinner straps on this one. And it's more, what would we call this color? Like maroon, burgundy, like a muted purple, reddish purple. Looks more casual. Also from the girls section. Don't tell anyone. If I pull on my little belt loops, looks even more Farmer Girl. Farmer Girl Zelda. So I did the hot pink. Choice one, look better. Or does this look better? Maybe this one, it's tough. I know, last poll you guys, so I better participate. Last chance to give me your opinion and I'm asking for it. <laughs> Chug a lug at five miles an hour. That's how slow it goes. That's what you do, a farmer dude. Driving tractors, trucks, and semis. You're a fan of my shapes. The shapes I make. I know, this is raw, unedited. Try on modeling. Obviously, because it's live. You guys get to see, without any cuts, how I model all the clothes for you. I always do my thumbnails like this. Show them off the boot. <laughs> I'm a natural. Thanks, guys. Kind of always wanted to be a model since I was a young preteen girl. I would watch America's Next Top Model and it's pretty easy to realize that the modeling industry is very uh, abusive and toxic. Even from that show, America's Next Top Model, they're always telling the girls like, you need to lose weight. And I was just like, dang, that's, that's pretty harsh. These girls are beautiful. So for that reason, I was like pretty aware of the fact that I wasn't gonna subject myself to that kind of treatment and actually try and go model and be a part of an agency or something. But I love modeling, I always have. I liked that show, but I don't anymore. But I liked to see 
the process of how they would, you know, get on set and then they have to like pose. And I was like, oh, interesting. And then seeing the final result, it taught me a lot. The show was very melodramatic. <laughs> Exactly, Lucas, yeah, unhealthy for the mind and spirit. Exactly. Yeah, I'm just kind of reminiscing about when I was younger. I didn't aspire to be a model, but I was very much interested and wanting to learn more about it. I would go through like fashion magazines that my mom gave me and I would cut out my favorite uh, ads, you know, by all the different designer brands with the clothes, but some of them had really cool photography and I would put them up on my wall and stuff. And now I model professionally, like that's how I make my living, so I'm doing it guys. I'm doing what little, little Z always wanted. Are you uh, analyzing my anatomy? I like that, attention to detail. It's kind of a weird question to ask, Sunrise. I think at that age, I knew I was, yeah, a pretty girl. Did we ever get the uh, poll result? Yeah. Hot pink. I just missed, I missed the result. Hot pink. I kind of like this one though, but the one with the bows, super cute. But you guys apparently think I look better in a brighter pink. I honestly wouldn't have guessed that because I thought based on what I think I am for the seasonal color, I thought I was like a soft summer and usually they don't look too good in a bright pink so maybe I'm not that but who knows one day it'd be fun to go to a professional and you sit down and they drape all different colors a fabric over you and they analyze your coloring. I would love to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to... Well guys, that was the last outfit for the stream. What if I put the pink cardigan over this? Wow, that looks like such a different color. Like those two colors don't go together for sure. That's, this is like muted and more cool and then this is way warm and very saturated. Thanks Dave, you loved it, you enjoyed it. 
I'm glad you guys were able to make it. I think it helps when I schedule it first thing in the morning. I woke up and I immediately was like, oh, I gotta schedule my stream. They gotta see when it's gonna be. That was the first thing I did in the morning. <laughs> You're welcome, Lucas. Yeah. Maybe, you know, in the future, I don't know if you guys use your phones for YouTube, but I could do a community poll in a post and you can vote if I get a couple ideas that I need help choosing between for a stream. You can help me decide what we do next. Yeah, I do use that little community tab for some pictures for you guys here on YouTube and just updates and stuff, but I think doing a poll would be good. Yeah, Dave, I'm getting things ready for the move. I found a house that I really like and I really, really want to live in it. I can see myself living in it. So, still working on that. Got a few months. Thank you, Philip. You love the feet, Lucas? Thank you. I love being barefoot. And I'm not stingy about showing my feet. I know some girls never show their feet, but it's just another part of me. I don't see why I need to hide it. <laughs> Thanks, elementary. I hope it goes smoothly too, or else I'll be a stressed little elf. Yeah, I think for the live streams, it's like, if it's meant to be sexually gratifying, then you can't be doing that on a live. It goes against community guidelines. So, like a, a foot rub, I don't know about that. Just funny, cause it's not like such a mundane thing. Yeah, exactly, Lucas. It's about if it's provocative or not. It's, if the intention is to provoke arousal, that's a no-no. But if the intention is wholesome, well, I'm just trying on my pants. It's okay. And I only have wholesome intentions. Well, thank you everyone again for the super chats and supporting the channel. Charles, Dave, Rusty, you guys are the best. It helps me keep doing what I'm doing. But I think it's time to end the stream. Appreciate you guys being here with me. It really means a lot having you participate and contribute to the channel. And I'll see you on Monday for a video. I'll do a premiere per usual. And I'll see you guys in the chat there. Hope you have a good night, day, wherever you are. And I'll talk to you guys on Monday. It's always so hard saying good night, but thank you so much. You guys keep me going. Good night. Bye. See you Friday or Monday. Today's Friday. <laughs> oh, good elementary. 
ASMR, the link is in the description. I have my ASMR channel. And maybe after I move, I'll be going up more on the ASMR, so. Rusty, thank you. Times three. You're the only one. Three times the charm for Rusty. Thank you. Appreciate you. See you guys Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye guys. Love you.